you caught me there, you friendly neighborhood thief. I'm out. I got out again. It's been about a year and this time. It's a year in review for this Bill Conk Biometric Smart Safe. This is the poor man's version of this. Hold on. One second. Get off. If you're poor, this is the poverty pony. This Bill Conch is the poverty pony of this Vault Tech. So if you don't got the money, you're going to have to buy this. So I'd recommend you know. Just don't buy the comp. Anyways, we'll go over why. You gotta do my full year, year in review on the safe. I'll go over everything. But is, uh, wait, there's more. <laughs> don't leave. There's more because today we're doing full pry testing on this safe. We're gonna open this thing with pry tools. How cool is that, man? Believe me, I'm good at getting out of things. For we'll start off with a little flathead action. I got a hammer. We're getting in. We'll see how fast or. We'll see if any safe will keep me out. I doubt this one will keep me out. I'll make sure I get in this one. One way or another. So also, you might also might be seeing what this is. This is, uh, I haven't handled one of these big boys in a while. But this is plasticine. With plasticine, I went online and figured out that if you get a little of that uh, clay and you get a little bit of this uh, fabric glue, you can biohack into these bio uh, sensors. So I'm, gonna, I, I'm like the lock picking lawyer here, man. I'm like the high tech version. Look at me, I'm smart. I know how to do things. I'm not a loser. <laughs> look dad, I know you thought of me as a piece of shit. Now look at me, man. <laughs> Let's go last year anyways. Last year I tested this safe and the biometric sensor failed, failed and the, uh, it failed my wet test, it failed my powder test, it failed everything. It's a failure, right? Failure. So, uh, this is also, like I said, this is a smart safe. So you can load it in your app, on your phone. Uh, the Chinese will love having your fingerprints, I imagine. They will love it. Anyways, the connectivity on that app was horrible. Have fun with your, with your crap app. Actually, I'm not a huge fan of putting my fingerprints in Chinese hands, but... Ugh, Chinese government. <laughs> you know, if you want a smart safe that you literally can't even get going, unless you go through the app, there's a, a Sifly, whatever they call this. This actually works pretty good when it comes to the, the, the Bluetooth. So if you want a smart safe, I'd recommend this over that. But man, I uh, we'll get to that <clears throat> later. Where did I go over? I forgot. So went over that, went over that. Uh, let's show you. Want to see what fits in there? I'll show you what fits in this Bill Conch safe. So you can get a lot of things in here, more than you would think, right? You know, they're not, not too bad. So I think this safe, you can charge it. Can you charge this piece of crap? Uh, this is kind of, what is this? I forgot, it's been a year. Yeah, I think it's got a lithium battery, so. And there you go, that's the first test it passed. It's been about a year, and I haven't really touched this piece of shit because I've been in the pen. Uh, still works, didn't drain. So that's one good thing it did. But the big problem with this safe was it was possessed by the devil because when I was reviewing it and I was actually kind of gonna I was like this isn't too bad but out of nowhere as I was reviewing the damn thing would start opening all by damn self I was like what the hell's going on and then you know I'm right-handed like God intended and look uh oh it just opened look at that uh oh take that lock picking lawyer you got those skills I don't think so look at this so if you don't touch it right here it will open. When it latches down on one side, you're screwed. And the biometric sensor sucks. There you go. So be careful on how you shut your bill conk. Your bill cock, it might just go ahead and kill your kids, right? Let's go over the bill quality real quick because we're doing the destructive test stuff and it's going to be fun. Let's put that here. Now, uh, let's go over some basic uh, design. Does it have good design? Well, we do have two locking latches here, which is good. That's good. But they did that because the damn thing's made out of sheet metal. Look at this thing bent. It's bendy. So that's why they put two locking latches on there. But interesting. We'll see what happens when it has two uh, locking latches. Let's test gaps now. There we go. We can get that in there pretty good. So I think I'm getting in, boys, pretty quickly. It's really, it's really loose. It's, uh, it's really, really loose. You know what I mean? All right. So yeah, I think I'm getting in. Uh, we're gonna do some biohacking, so you know, let's get. Oh, don't forget one last thing. Don't forget to shiv the like button. Just 
stick it in there. So let's get to testing. This is the Bill Conch. Let's get to testing. This is the worst print I have. Only opening the Barska. Can't even detect that it's there. So good job there, Bill Conch. Let's go in with the okay print here. See if this will get in. Let's try it one more time. All right. So let's go over to the best of the best. And here we go. And there you go. As you already see, the lid's already broken. And there's the result. Sometimes poor performance in one area of testing, i.e. the wet powder test that it fails, becomes an attribute for another test result. The Bill Conch gets a stage 3 rating with the biohack test.
Helps the poor and hopeless, hopeless felon. Go to my website, xtactical.com.